Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 22, part 3 of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we acquired our new vehicles to get started on transporting passengers, as well as sandstone on the map. And in this episode, we're going to get started on transporting the first supplies needed in Paris. Alright. Sandstone is starting to look trickled in. Whoa. I mean, I put it at time as eight, but that is kind of quick. I guess I'll just put it at times two, I guess. Alright. So, we got our first set of passengers already delivered. We just need to start delivering some cargo. And at the same time, we need to also connect to Le Havre. Let's see. Let's put it down a three three tier station platform with a four track layout. Let's see. I just need to. Hmm. Alright, we'll leave it there. But Le Havre will basically have another setup. We'll basically have more Navy. Let's remove some of these platforms. Well, these underground walkways, as why would I need them if people are able to get to the respective platforms? And we'll use these Strasbourg stations on this side of the map, particularly for the towns that are bordering the co bordering the French coast. I'll set up another trolley route here. Electric and connect. Perfect. Now all I just need to do is just place down a couple of these terminals. Connect and connect here, as well as down here at the port. I also need one large terminal for my passenger ships. Especially for those traveling by, by my trolleys to connect to the ferries. Yeesh, I'll have to basically take out a little bit of extra money then. We'll connect that, and basically, anybody that drops off here will automatically head toward the nearest port to catch the ferry. Now I'll have to set up another bus trolley route here. This will be trolley route B1. And the same for the returning trip on the other side. This will be trolley route B2. Do that and purchase the trolleys. We'll purchase about four of these, but two on this, two on this. Perfect. Now, with those trolleys serving, it's time to extend the railway. I'll build the tracks out of this terminal and then basically. that, and do it like 
like that. Let's see. Collision, collision, collision. I'll basically raise the track and make it a little more level. Curve. Let's see. Hmm. That looks good. Yep, looks good to me. Then it will just travel along the river on the return trip down. It's gonna be like that. That then just simply makes the track a little bit straight. Plus, the straight track here can also help me diverge my line to connect to the town of Lahar for a goods for a goods line. So I'll have to basically think about where that platform will go. Well, at least our trolleys are starting to make some money as transporting passengers around the town. All right. Hmm. Well, our first. I believe our first loads of sandstone have not just arrived. Oh, yes! There's our sandstone now. Though it doesn't say that we did deliver sandstone. I think it only occurs once the sandstone of the commodity arrives at its final destination. Plus, this wagon convoy should not be on that platform, I just realized. Let me change it up. There we go. Much better. Now then. Let's continue with the track expansion. I want to basically build an extension that goes into these little towns located within these large grain fields. So I'll build a diverging track there for now. Do that. That switch is not properly centered with, with the other switch. That actually, let's basically require place this with a road bridge. Still going by the one road, one track crossing per intercity connecting road. Good. There, and do that, and the track should make it. Hmm, that actually does not look like it. Let's try it this way. Just get it. There. Perfect. Right. Let's see. Go down and then do this. And the new mainline extension is complete to Le Havre, which is perfect once we start transporting passengers between France and England. But that won't be for a little while, though. That also reminds me, I need to also connect this as well. Alright. We'll extend that up a bit. And now, our, with our first loads of goods being delivered, our trucks are finally about to make their way over to drop off the construction material. 
all it just needs is a little bit of time and patience for that to be done. I'll set up a simple slip switch there. And now I gotta figure out where to place down the freight station. Hmm. I don't like it, but... Perfect. But that means I'll have to reroute the trolley, so. There we go. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Now the trolleys will finally be able to go on a more appropriate loop. Though I'll have to basically figure out where to place this. Let's just put this one right here. Thankfully, the Harv is basically not badly affected by the station's placement by tearing down a couple of buildings. It will travel alongside the river, as usual, but then it will start to climb up the grade on a small gradient out. Put a switch right there at 45 miles an hour. And then connect. Let's place down a signal. Well, actually, let's place down a crossover piece. And let's add some signals. Oh, I actually forgot to add the crossover piece here at the station. Add that, and that. Alright. Set the signals along here and here, here and here. Make sure this is a one not a one way signal. Place the signals here at the switch. Let's see. All right, that should basically do it. So now, we're starting to basically make up a bit of a small profit. It won't be enough to basically get our company back into the black, and our company value is really bad right now. But it will change eventually. I mean, we got a lot of pa we got passengers wanting to travel by rail. Well done. The first phase of the construction is complete. The directors agree that the exposition should feature something special, a clue. The spike that will give the entire fair a single signature structure. A striking symbol of French culture. They decide that this spike should be a 300 meter tower. A structure far surpassing in height any edifice ever built, and Gustave Eiffel is the man to do it. He needs massive amounts of steel to build his marvel. Transport enough steel from the Lorraine region to the construction site in Paris. As coal is scarce in France, most coal mines are located in Belgium and Germany. This might be a logistical challenge. So now with the construction materials delivered to France, 
well, to Paris. The base for the exposition is now finished. But now, we need to help build the, build the Eiffel Tower. And steel is now a commodity needed to be brought in. But, thankfully, the construction materials plan will still allow us to basically process sandstone in the building materials. Not just for the exposition, for, ex for extra money, but also by delivering it by rail and by ship to local customers. Now, before we can expand, however, we need to figure out where we can fetch some coal. Well, there is a steel mill here in Nancy. However, coal is located up north. So, the only way I'm able to basically build in Belgium is to basically... Hmm. Actually, there is a coal mine here in, near Lily, and the grain farms have just opened up. So now, we can start producing food. But only four food towns just need food. So, we could just make a bunch of high-quality French pastries and baked goods, and just throw them around the map. However, there are some industries that we still also need to take care of, like the fishery. There are four towns that need it, and once the fish has basically been delivered, I believe we'll basically have a pretty profitable business. But now, we've got to get started on connecting the town of Nancy. Nancy seems like a very good town to basically build at one end of our express passenger routes. But the but the logistics of building a station here is kind of difficult. Hmm. Let's see. Now, steel is only needed at the expedi expedition. Exposition, and I don't think it needs it anywhere else for the moment. But of course, I need to make sure that my trains can actually pick up the steam. We'll just delete that there for now, and then just build a bit of an interjunction road here for the freight station. We'll save tra these two tracks right here. These two for coal and iron ore deliveries, and this one for delivering fish steel. While a two-track station will basically serve for both local and the express service, that will take them to Le Havre to catch the ferry to Britain once we are able to basically have transport rights in, Fran in Britain. All right. Hmm. We should also connect to a couple of other towns too, such as Verdun, and then basic. All right. So the main line will curve off to the left again, but this time it will head to the town of Verdun, and then through the hills towards the town of Nancy, which we'll be covering in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!